Good morning. Welcome to Inside Talk Show, Inside Talk Show. It's an inside job. I'm Carla Elizondo. Happy Monday. We are continuing the reading of James Allen's book, Out from the Heart, Chapter 3, titled Formation of Habit. We will read just a quick few little paragraphs to get us started for this week. Every established mental condition is an acquired habit. <clears throat> Every established mental condition is a acquired habit and it has become such by continuous repetition of thought the thoughts that you habitually think have only come to be through continuous thought and attention or hearing them or exposing yourself to them despondency and cheerfulness despondency and cheerfulness anger and calmness covetousness covetousness and generosity, indeed, all states of mind, are habits built up by choice. Again, we cannot always control what flies into our mind or what's around us, but we can control what we choose to take out to lunch, take out to dinner, aka spend time with, talk about, repeat, get emotionally involved with, despondency and cheerfulness, anger and calmness, covetousness and generosity. Indeed, all states of mind are habits built up by choice until they have become automatic. Habit is automatic. When we have a habit of doing something, we don't have to think about it. It's automatic. It's habit. Think about the times when you've tried to stop doing something and you do it and someone's like, I thought you said, oh God, I know it's habit. It's habit. I can't not do it. My body and my mind is driving me to do it without even thinking. It's habit. A thought constantly repeated at last becomes a fixed habit of the mind. And from such habits proceeds one's life. Proceeds one's life. It is in the nature of the mind to acquire knowledge by the repetition of its experiences. A thought which is very difficult at first to hold and dwell upon at last becomes by constantly being held in the mind a natural and habitual practice. Everything's hard at first. Everything's difficult at first. Think about, I was just talking this weekend about learning how to drive a stick shift. That was not fun it was not easy. It was not cute. But now I could do it with my, I mean, yeah, I could do it with my eyes closed. I'm not going to drive with my eyes closed, but I don't have to think about it. Once you learn, it's habit. It's in your blood and bones. You, you actually, once something is really in, in your mind, it takes work to get it out. It takes work to get it in. It takes work to get it out. Yeah. What are the habitual thought patterns of your mind? What do you do without thinking? What slaps you in the face when you wake up? For whatever reason, the habitual thoughts that hit me in the morning are not positive. Or sometimes when I'm dozing off to bed or just intrusive thoughts randomly. But don't, I don't get I don't take them personal anymore. I don't allow them to run off. Why am I thinking that? Oh God, I should be doing better. I do all this mindset work. Do not absorb it. Just observe it. It's a thought. This too shall pass. This photo, I posted a little thing the other day and it was so helpful. I really enjoyed this image of the mind. Thinking about our mind as surrounding us, completely surrounding us. Our mind is not in our head. Our mind is everywhere. I loved this. So this is the way I thought. I was always here. Oh my gosh, my mind is going crazy. But if, and that was me absorbing it. But what if I just observed it? Look at all my photos down there. All my videos. Just observe it. Don't absorb it. You are not your thoughts. You're observing them. They're surrounding you. What thoughts are surrounding you? 
take a step back. It is not who you are. Don't beat yourself up for it. Thank the thought. Thank you for sharing, right? You know, when someone tells you something, I don't like you. Your hair is ugly. Thank you for sharing. I like my hair and I think I'm pretty. Instead of, oh my God, they're right. I'm a piece of shit, right? <laughs> don't, don't absorb it. Observe it. Thank you for sharing, right? Take a step back. Don't allow yourself, and this is what we've been learning. Remain in control of your emotional state. Don't let other people with the outside world, whatever happens, whatever is said, whatever is seen, whatever is experienced with our five senses, stop letting it just take you for a ride. Have control. Control yourself. Control yourself. Stop living from the five physical senses. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. What you can see in this physical world, start living from the inner higher faculties, your perception, the will, reason, imagination, intuition, and memory. Use all of those higher faculties to create the world you want. Remember, everything in our world, when we talk about that law of attraction, there's so many factors happening in so many people's lives with which we are all connected with. So if Boo Boo, you know, got in a car accident in your car, did I attract that? No, Boo Boo did. But you will definitely attract how you react to it. How are you going to experience that? Are you going to take it personal? Are you going to sue them? Are you going to break up with them? Like, what is your experience of it? You attract that because you decide holy crap, they just crashed my car. And it's not always important. This is the, what I was, this is, I'll leave you with this. It's not so important to figure out the why. I think that sometime is beyond us. Like really the reason why things happen to us. Just they did. And how do we move on? Take that time to grieve, to mourn, to heal. Oh, and Wayne Dyer this morning was saying, you know, wounds that we have, wounds on our physical skin, they they close up and dry and heal within time. Just like our inner wounds, they are supposed to close up and heal over time. What if a wound on our skin or outside just stayed wide open for years? That would be dangerous. Same for the inside. What if our wounds stayed open for years? Let's heal those. I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, happy Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.